Marissa is here from Shop Town. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> First of all, Marissa, for those that may not know who you are, may, can you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are. Plug and promote anything and everything. All right, hurts. So, hi, I am Marissa. Can y'all hear me? Is this good? Sound great. Awesome. Wonderful, because I was literally just having mic issues two minutes ago, and I almost shit my pants. Uh, so hi, my name is Marissa. I'm from a band called Sharp Tooth. I am personally based in Detroit, Michigan. The rest of them are in Baltimore. I am simply chilling. I have my favorite beer with me right now. And whoa, 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 whoa! Let's see. Can we see that one? I've never ever seen that before. It looked like it's an apple pie beer. Yep. Oh man, that looks yummy. Oh, it's so good. So I had, I got this. I got obviously. You know, we had to do it to him. And then we also have this. And then we also have some of this. She came prepared. I love it. Hell yeah. So how did how did you how did you meet the band living in, in Detroit and they're in Baltimore? How did how did that link up uh, occur? So my old bands had actually played with them. Both of my old bands had played with Sharp Tooth previously, and we just kind of formed like this really cool friendship and uh, just really good, decent rapport. And then uh, when their previous vocalist left, they hit me up and they were like, hey, are you busy? And I was like, no, we're in a pandemic. What do you want? <laughs> so and then, uh, <laughs> so re re yeah. regarding, I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry, because you didn't get the plug, mm. or plug and promote stuff. You were all good. I'm I got excited. nothing else to plug and promote. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so, so when it comes to recording and writing tracks, is it just like emailing demo stuff back and forth to each other? And then when it's time to hit the studio, you've already kind of, done that back and forth so you know what the song's going to sound like essentially yeah pretty much we uh our guitarist lance is actually the main writer he's kind of the brains of the operation and what he'll do is he'll track a bunch of stuff on his own send it over in a big old google drive i think we're sitting on like 20 demos right now <laughs> and wow. i just go through and i pick my favorites and i'm like can we add a little woo -doo -woo -doo part here can we add a breakdown here because that's about the extent of my music knowledge when it comes to that. <laughs> Hell yeah. And how do you know this handsome lad right here, Ryan? Ryan and I uh, used, well, Ryan was the mod in a group that I now mod. So <laughs> we we have a we have a shared favorite band that we talk. Wow, that's so crazy. There it is. <laughs> talk about them drugs. Hell yeah. Oh Shout yeah. Out to Craig. All about them drugs. Yes, we love Craig. Ryan, uh, what, I know you have a bunch of questions for Marissa. Go ahead and hit her with some. Oh, man. Um, hi. Nice to talk uh, to you. How are you hello, doing? Friend. I'm so good. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm just trying to I, – I can feel summer starting to slowly approach, so I, I'm just like, yay, I'm happy. I don't have to be cold in my beach house in Mexico. So. Oh, poor oh. you. I know it's horrible. Boy. You know, you get the beach next day. You don't want to be in forty degree weather. It's it's not it's not Listen, my choice in the map. So I posted on my Instagram story the other day that uh, one day it was eighty two degrees in Michigan. The next day it was like seventy something, and then the next day it snowed. So I don't want to hear shit about weather <laughs> because I just got like emotional whiplash. Hello, headphones. I got emotional whiplash from dealing with that. That's crazy. The weather's gaslighting. All right. Literally. So, um, with Sharp Tooth, like, do you feel like you're doing something? Because you were in Solemn Judgment and you were in Backswing. Mm -hmm. Did you mm -hmm. try to bring, like, the same energy? Or did you want to kind of, like, create something that was kind of in a new vein for you with Sharp Tooth? So, with Sharp Tooth, uh, it's a little bit different because Backswing, I had no idea what I was doing. I was, like, 22 years old, just trying to figure it out. And then... Uh, Solemn Judgment was kind of my baby where I was like, I'm in control of everything and I know what I'm doing now and I don't want anyone else to touch it. And then Sharp Tooth is kind of the actual first time that I've ever been in a collaborative environment when it comes to writing, recording and everything like that. And it's been really, really refreshing. But the energy I've tried to bring is like just kind of like authenticity and a little bit of my own experience now in my almost 30 years of living. And we're chilling. Also, this is just orange juice, by the way. 
I saw someone in the in the like, chat say the drink looks good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to the craziness here like, in a bit. What you got, Ryan? Sorry. Um, I I mean, go on, man. If you if you want to bounce off that, I got questions for days. I could sit here all day. Who made you want to pick up a microphone in the first place when you were when you were younger? Oh, okay. So that's a great question. Uh, my first answer is probably my MCR Gerard Way. I am a huge MCR fan. I've got the Three Cheers uh, thing tattooed on me. Um, uh, the flamboyancy and the storytelling of his lyrics, I always really appreciated and the way he acted on stage. Um, oh, yeah. But heavy vocals, it was Ricky Hoover um, from Suffocate. And I was like, I want to sound like that guy. Yeah, he's <laughs> a beast. He's a beast. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, insane. Also, he's jacked. He's a... Uh, <laughs> shredded i i met him a couple months ago actually uh when he was doing a tour with of sulfur and i was like this guy's huge for what reason <laughs> just gilda just like juice to the gills <laughs> yeah insane do you have any any odd or unusual vocal warm-up tricks that you do i sing carrie underwood <laughs> didn't see that coming Very abs- <laughs> yeah she's uh so i i have a a playlist actually in my Spotify where it's just regular warmups. And um, I am a, I think I'm like a, a tenor, tenor alto, or no, I'm an alto soprano. My bad. And so I sing along with altos, and some of Carrie's songs are perfectly in that little alto range. And I'll know when I'm warmed up when I can just really belt out the chorus of Before He Cheats. That's a, it's a good one. <laughs> Scares the shit out of people. <laughs> that's just a jam. That's a, that's the first song I ever heard from her too. Oh, it's great. It's great. We love Carrie. Uh, Carrie and uh, Dolly Parton. Those are the two. Dolly Parton. Power do. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, shoot another one, Ryan, or two. Oh yeah, sure, man. I I I got them for days, man. So Damn. um, hey yeah. So with you guys playing live shows again, you've uh, incorporated some uh, tasteful covers and uh, <laughs> <cool. laughs> that show like that, that curated MySpace flavor, you know, something like Drop Dead Gorgeous is always awesome to cover. So mm-hmm. what made you want to cover something like that and bring it to the Sharp Tooth live set? Because that song fucking rules. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... Drop Dead Gorgeous is also one of like my favorite bands that kind of really incorporated really cool music stuff that I was very interested in. Um, and when any any band I've done, we've always had at least like one cover just because it's fun, it's audience engagement, and you can kind of like, especially if uh, you're like me and you're starting over with essentially an entirely new discography to try and reach a new audience of fans, you kind of want one thing that connects with some people. Like, so at the beginning of the Sharp 2 set, we have a Slayer cover to bring in all the hardcore kids because they'll be like, oh, South of Heaven. I know that song. I didn't know that song. (laughs) And then. (laughs) Spoiler. (laughs) Spoiler alert. Um, And uh, when I was in Silent Judgment, we did a cover of the breakdown of This Love by Pantera just because it's it's heavy as hell. And then in Backswing, we had we did. Um. This might be a little bit out of left field for some, but there was a band called uh, Black My Heart, and we did a cover of their song Thick as Blood. And it was just, it's one of those things where like you just see people go nuts and you're like, this is so much fun. I'm having such a fun time right now. And that's what live shows should be about. So it's true. Absolutely. That's why I do it. Hell yeah. I mean, that's, I think it's smarter doing some like cool songs that'll gauge the audience. Like, I think one of my first bands, we were dumb and we'd cover like the most obscure Under Oath when there were black metal covers. So it was just like, I mean, it works for us, but I don't think any way, like, I don't know if anybody in high school level is just like, oh, I remember Under Oath 1999 album. It's like 2005. So, yeah. I I know. I'm trying to convince them all to let me do, um, a heavy, heavy, low, low cover next. I'm like, I just think it'd be so much fun. Just like two minutes of just chaos. I Absolutely. would simply They're love doing that. Great. We and love too, chaos. So, mm-hmm. gosh, love. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I mean, are you allowed to tell us which heavy Lolo song? Or <laughs> I think it was tell Shannon her claps her craps already. That would be dope. That would yeah. that, that, 
I would definitely be dope. I would yeah. definitely do that. Yeah. So you guys have been playing like lots of cool festivals and stuff recently. Is there anything up like coming that you can discuss or? We got nothing coming up. Honestly, we're taking just kind of our sweet time playing shows because we are actually in the process of kind of starting to write a full length. Uh, mm-hmm. So we're taking some time off for writing. Marissa, can I see the seven hot sauces that you brought today? Oh, good grief. Okay, so I actually found one more. So there's eight now. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. All right, so uh, we've got the hot ones, the classic. Okay. Oh, yeah. You love to see it. We've got a pineapple habanero. Okay, so you got, just... you got the hot ones, like, whole kit with you. Yeah, I, I ordered a box at one point just because I was really interested. I had a phase. Um, and then I kind of started to get other ones. So I have, of course, the last dab as well, just because you have to. I've also got this one was in, I think, season season 10 of Hot Ones. And this is the Hellfire Detroit. And like, I just had to get it because Detroit represent. And then I've got three by this brand called Ballyhoo that's based out of Seattle. that are really, really good. And then I think this is another Hot Ones one. Right. You're a hot so, sauce pro, apparently. <laughs> Start drinking. So wait, before before we get to the hot sauce, wait, I do have to f- figure out what the trivia topic is. So you get to pick the trivia. So I ask you this. Oh, what movie or TV show have you seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, it's impossible you will get stumped. My job is to stump you. Oh, God. Uh, that's hard. I like. I want to say... The Lost Boys is probably the movie that I've watched the most, uh, but also like real big into Star Wars. But like, I know that that's a really wide cage. Like someone could be really into Star Wars and people are really into Star Wars. Um, So I'm going to probably say. uh, Lost Boys totally works. Yeah, Lost Boys. Let's do Lost Boys. All right, let's do let's do one right now then because I got it ready. Here we go. They start off easy and they get hard. What is the name of Sam's dog? I'm so mad I can hear him yelling it. What is the name of Sam's dog? Nope. All right, start off with a mild one and enjoy. While you're being tortured real quick, if it's okay with you, can I play the video for I didn't ask to be here? Absolutely. I look super yeah, cool yeah, in the video. Yeah, Please yeah, do. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Here we go. We're hanging out with Marissa of Sharp Tooth. Please support him any way you can. Go on Spotify, hit the follow button. Go on YouTube. Slap that subscribe button and support him. Now, you guys are known for having a fairly wild show. <laughs> Tell me something bad that happened. Somebody breaks a nose, somebody uh, breaks an arm. <laughs> Any Something crazy that happened at a Sharp Tooth show. Mm. Nothing, nothing legally binding. <laughs> so I'm going to say that it didn't, it wasn't at a Sharp Tooth show, but it was before a significant Sharp Tooth event. So Keith and Carl, who are both in the chat right now, Keith is uh, our other guitarist, and then Carl is the world's greatest mogul who is also a terrorist. Um, Carl decided to break Keith's nose directly before this video, which was the first video of like announcing the official lineup. So if you look closely in this video, Keith's nose is in a cast. (laughs) Let's see if I can get a still shot in the background of it. The one with the red hair. Yep. His nose is broken. So that was on purpose though. Yep. That's a unique uh, social media trick, I suppose. I've never heard that one. <laughs> yeah, Carl decided, you know what I'm going to do today? Be violent. And then uh, we did a cover one time of Limp Biscuit, and I forgot all the words halfway through because I was so nervous. And I ended up calling someone a pussy, and Hate Five Six got it on camera. So <laughs> that was the only other crazy thing that's happened. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh Ryan, you're gonna you're up on another question, but Marissa, is it okay if we take a, a couple of fan questions? There's a lot of people in chat yeah. that want to ask you some stuff. Okay, cool. So yeah, if you guys really. have a question, go ahead and just shoot it in chat. And if we get an opportunity, we'll ask her. 
But uh, Ryan, you're up. Oh, cool. Um, do you like Cliff Bars? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I do. Too. I do. They are good. I love them. I'm eating a peanut butter one. What is this, your favorite? I used to really like the white chocolate macadamia one. Also, we're going to switch, and I'm going to actually have one of these beers now, just letting everybody know. Um, all right. Let's, here's some ASMR. I'm drinking some cranked grape right out the bottle because, you know, you know how we be out here. I feel like I should take a shot so I can just party with you guys because we're having fun right now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so earlier you mentioned wrestling in the promo video you did for this. Yeah. Who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Mankind. Mankind, hell yeah. yeah. I, got, I got to meet him at a meet and greet. Nicest guy ever. Oh, that's so... I I love all of his characters. I love Mr. Sacco. He's an absolute psychopath. I absolutely love it. He's great. I think... um. He's an amazing wrestler as well because he also does he did like the crazy shit where like they break uh like glass over people. And the uh oh my god, the one the the cage one where he fell like directly all the way down like with like the Undertaker or yeah. something. That, that was so. crazy. They, that's where he, his tooth went through his lip or something on that one. Oh my yep. gosh. A couple of a couple of go. I'm sorry, Ryan, my bad. It's all good, I said. That's just when he fell through the middle, his tooth went through his uh, his gum. You're right. There it is. A couple of of yeah. uh, chat questions, but there's a bunch. So if you could answer them real quick, who's your Heard. who's your favorite member of Sharp Tooth? Me. Favorite type of milk. <laughs> milk. Oh. oh how milk. how old were you when you seriously started practicing vocals? Oh, probably about 19. Favorite beatdown and hardcore band right now. Oh, okay. Uh, I have a couple. The first one is Sabella. Shout out. They're not a band anymore, I don't think, but they are one of the coolest hardcore bands that are out there right now. Pale Face is absolutely insane. I just got to see them with Body Snatcher. They absolutely blew my mind. Insane band live. And then there's a band called Wholehearted from Vegas um, that I also don't think is a band anymore, and they are my favorite right now. Heavy rotation. Least favorite thing fans do after shows? Uh, trap me in a conversation for 30 minutes. I want to talk to you, but I also want to shower. Where did Michael and Sam move to in Lost Boys? Where did they move to? Isn't it San Bernardino? That is not correct. You, I'll give you oh. one more try. I'll give you one more try. Oh, Michael no. and Sam, the, where did they move in Lost Boys? It's the, uh. I literally like oh, drove wow. past the pier and I'm so mad because like where they had the music and the girl was like, my name's star. I drove past that pier at one point. It's in California. I just, yeah. That's no. a buzzer. Then I was stumped. Yep. So we'll go, uh, <laughs> pineapple habanero or one close to that range. Maybe is that like a medium? Yeah, yeah we'll do pineapple habanero. There we it go. It says it's got it right there. Okay, so it's a medium. Nice. Right. Yeah. Medium. So as you'll see, um, if I get... Thank you. Yeah, it's Santa something. I see chat. Thanks, chat. <laughs> Santa Carla. <laughs> Santa Carla. That's what it was. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I do this thing, which was the same thing that happened with Limp Bizkit, where if I'm being perceived by a certain amount of people, I absolutely just... Holes in my brain. Just, I'll forget everything. <laughs> hey, so. wait... You said earlier that you had approximately 20 demos that you're kind of sifting through and uh, yep. there, there, there's uh, in the works of the album coming out. Is there a tentative time that you'd like to release it? Fall, early 2024? I think that's a great question, actually. I The EP only took like maybe like three months to do. I want to say total between like recording, mixing, mastering or whatever. So I, I'm probably going to say... I want to say like fall. Cool. Probably fall. Fall 2020. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it out. <laughs> what scares you? Do you have any phobias? Ooh. Um. Uh... <laughs> Y'all just trying to find out my weaknesses so you can use them against <laughs> me. <laughs> I see what's going on. <laughs> um. Coyotes. Man, what's your weakness? Coyotes, Coyotes yeah. really? Okay. Yes. I live on six acres in the woods, and the most terrifying thing is shining my flashlight out in the tree line and just seeing like eight pairs of eyes staring back at me. It's very scary. That is creepy. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Hungry eyes. Nothing like a pair of a couple pairs of hungry eyes. It's not fun. It's not fun. Mm-mm. It's terrifying. <laughs> would, is is I would there not recommend? Is there is there consideration to have any guest vocalists? Uh, maybe for for the album. Oh yeah, I would absolutely love to have um somebody else come on. I am a really big fan of Mitchell Rogers, who is the vocalist of Varials. I think that he's got a really cool range, uh, not only with his singing voice but his uh, harsher vocals as well. And he has just been like really involved in like a lot of stuff that I really, really enjoy listening to. So I would love to have him on at some point or, um, Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. Mitch, Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Yes. The Mitch chant. Um, and then I don't know. I really just want somebody that's kind of opposite me in range just to add like really cool dynamics. Um, but yeah, even like, like Kyle from Body Snatcher, the vocalist, Kyle from Body Snatcher, he's super talented as well. And him and I are pretty eye to eye uh, on quite a few things. So cool. it's pretty nice. It'd be cool to have him on too. Ryan, you're up. All right. So um, back to pro wrestling. Um, uh-huh. If Mankind, McFoley, Cactus Jack, Dude Love is number one, who's number two? Ken Shamrock. Oh wow! Okay. He's Elder a submission fighter. Yes, he's, he's a submission. He's the one that has fighter. the. Is he the one that has the gold medal? No. No, that I mean, that's Kurt Angle. You're right, Kurt Angle. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, yeah, Kurt Angle's the like other the one. First, like crossover when UFC was just starting out, and it was kind of like more barbaric and less organized than it is now. You're right. Oh yeah. But he had the same finisher, like the ankle lock. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, a- I also have to say, yes, I do also like X-Pac chat. <laughs> uh, Hell yeah. X-Pac heat, man. X-Pac oh, yeah, was at a, a Whiskey cool. A Go-Go show once, and I didn't find out he was there until after the show. And I, oh someone was like, gosh. did you meet X-Pac? And I was like, what are you talking about? X-Pac from wrestling? <laughs> and like, they were like, X-Pac? yeah, he was upstairs talking to everybody. I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, ah. That would be so cool. Damn it. Who, who uh, if, you, if, you, if you could meet any celebrity... Who would cause you to be starstruck? Oh, um, shoot, that's a great question. You know what? Um, what's that? <laughs> oh, he's so handsome. I'm forgetting his name. Goodness gracious. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh my God, Pedro. Okay, first of all, no, Pedro's cool as fuck. I feel like him and I could chill and we could both drink Miller Lite like around a fire. I would not be intimidated by him at all. He is way too kind. But um, no, what's his face from be- The Notebook? Oh, Gosling. 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 Thank you. I was Ryan something, but there's too many. And plus, I'm looking at a Ryan. So I'm like, <laughs> which one? The Notebook is one of those movies that no matter how many times I've seen it, I still tear up at the very end every time. Oh, my God. Every single time. Which leads me it's just very sad. to my next question. Can you name all four of the Lost Boys? These are the four boys who try to turn Michael into the vampire. What are their first names? I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> 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 Who are name all four people that try to turn Michael into the vampire? They're maggots, Michael. They're maggots. <laughs> You're eating maggots, Michael. It's That's Kiefer the boy Sutherland. <laughs> you don't have to name the actors' real names, but they're they're in movie names. Isn't one of isn't pick. <laughs> so I'm just gonna grab another hot sauce. Okay. Because now I'm sweaty and nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. That's the last one. So we'll do we'll do the hottest That's one. Right. So we'll do the hottest one. Oh God! Okay. I have I have where is it? I have this homemade sauce that is one of the hottest ones I have. It's called Johnny Harpoon Sauce, but I promise you there's some scorpion, there's some ghost peppers, some reapers God. all in this thing, and it, it is it is pretty brutal. Part of me wants to say I'm going to let chat pick for me between two. Hey, chat, are you listening? We are. If someone says, I don't think I've seen this movie. You're right. I've never seen it before in my life. <laughs> I was lying. Poser. I'm totally a poser. 
So what are the two that we get to pick from? Um, so we're gonna pick between garlic, ghost pepper, or the last dab. Does the does the last dab change every season? I think so. I want to say because I think this is from the this is the triple X one. I think it's got the ghost X, yeah pepper X in it. So I think it's uh from the pepper X edition. Oh God. Okay. So give them like the worst. Chat like saying we should mix them. So if you mix them, <laughs> I'll mix them. I'll mix okay. this what? with a ghost pepper sauce. Also, I'll do two. Okay, chat. I just want to let you know that I am currently tracking your locations, and I'm telling the FBI that you are building pipe bombs in your basement. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, so let's let's do that. And while while you're suffering, Ryan, ask another question because I'm going to be out of commission for a minute. Also, <laughs> you have made your gravest mistake. You have allowed me to be in control, which means I get to ask the questions here. So my question for you, Marissa, will be, um, I hadn't really thought this one out while before I started doing the accent, so I'm buying time by speaking <laughs> this way to come up with a question that is articulated enough. <laughs> so in that time that I uh, wasted it right there, um, I want to ask that, uh, do you have any cool like collaborations coming out that you could possibly tell us about. And how would somebody contact you? How would you prefer they contact you if they want it to collab? Two oh, part. So two part. I if you ask me on Instagram, I will more than likely respond. Um I mix it in a little in the cap so you guys can see the cap is full. Chat. We saw you okay. pour it. It looked like a lot. It looked like this is gonna be this is gonna be brutal right here. So Marissa. My <laughs> yeah, we're um my ex <laughs> all the time you need Get the Miller Lite ready. Get the Liquid Death ready, because it's about to burn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> With that being said, Marissa, while you're suffering, tell me the most important person in your entire life. Who means more to you than anything? My dad. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nah. All right, so I got another question. What was your first concert? No, then, no, 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 no. Hurry up. We and then an also that. after <laughs> that, which of your tattoos is your favorite? First concert, favorite tattoo. And how are you feeling? Awful. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. Oh my. You're a champion. You're a champion. We just, what did we do? We, we, we broke the guest. That's not what we're supposed to do, Beach. <laughs> apple pie puts out, apple pie puts out the, the fire. That's what I hear. But I'm trying. All right, so. <laughs> Excuse me. My mouth's hot, too. <laughs> we need that, we need that, uh, you said oat, oat milk? Oat milk. Oat <laughs> milk. You know what? Hang on, let me go grab. No problem. Go grab it. Guys, I hope you're, I hope you're enjoying the interview. Uh, Please support Sharp Tooth and Marissa any way you can. What's up, Ryan? I was gonna say, uh, since uh, Marissa is a little indisposed, why don't you uh, get practice her questions for uh, what, what's your first concert and what was your first tattoo? My first concert ever was Paul McCartney Wings. I actually talk about it all the time. It changed my life. I was like, <laughs> I was like three or four years old. It completely catapulted wow. me into being like a music lover. Um, my mouth's hot too. But um, and then the second one you said was what? <laughs> Uh, it was your question. It's uh, your first tattoo. <laughs> oh, my first tattoo was a tattoo on my back. It's like, it's like kind of like a tribal band on the left side and the right side, and then it says BG in the middle. Um, it was the day I turned okay. eighteen. My parents took me, and my mom was like, "We'll just take him on his birthday, and he won't want any more tattoos after that." And boy, was she wrong. So I, I ended up getting another one like ten days later. What's up? You got a tri so you have a tribal band indigenous for the tribe of people from BG? I unfortunately have two. I have an actual tribal band right here, which was my like third tattoo, and I hate it. I know you guys can't see it that well on Teams. Teams is acting weird for me, but um it it cuts off like my sleeve. It like sleeve, halt, <laughs> and then it starts back up again after that. It's kind of annoying. Marissa, how you doing? You cooling down a little bit? Yeah. So the fun thing is with 
the last dab, I don't know if y'all can see, but there's like chunks of things in there. Oh yeah. And one of those chunks got stuck like right here. <laughs> and I was just like, mm. <clears throat> so. <laughs> that sounds fun. It's still leaking, but I'm good. Delicious. I got, I got my milk. There we go. Excellent. Mouth. You got your mouth. You'll be all right with your mouth. <laughs> Uh, we've got time for maybe two or three more questions each. Ryan, uh, what, would, what do you have? Well, we never did get our questions answered. Oh, for the which collaboration? Were first... Yeah, collaboration. no, no, we got that. The questions were, what was your first concert and what was your first tattoo? My first concert was Reliant K and Good Charlotte. Uh, it was Reliant K touring for their album, Mm-hmm. And they were supporting mm -hmm. Good Charlotte on the Life and Death Tour. And it was the craziest thing I've ever seen because my dad's a youth pastor, mm -hmm. right? So he was very much so like, yes, mm -hmm. Reliant K, Skillet, Switchfoot. And I was exposed to like these dudes wearing eyeliner with gargoyles on stage. And I was like, my eyes lit up. My life was changed forever. That was my first concert. It's a good one. Changed your life. Most important tattoo. Your first tattoo. And oh, first, most first and most important. My first tattoo is on my thigh, and it is a uh, after the burial tattoo. It's a fun one. Yeah. Uh, from lyrics for Aspiration, because I love that song. Uh, and then I was like, I think like 17 when I got it. Yeehaw, I was still in high school. Like, I yeah. remember thinking I was so cool. I was like, <laughs> I'm so cool going to school right now in sweatpants. I got a tattoo, by the way, guys. My mom let me get a tattoo. Like, <laughs> I was one of those for sure. Uh, my most memorable or most important one is probably. Uh, That's tough. Her it's lost tough. voice tattoo. But it's pro <laughs> my last voice tattoo. It's David. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a box of maggots. But um, my favorite one is my promise me. That's on my neck. Um, it is a memorial tattoo for a friend of mine who passed away and who is like super, super important to me, like all throughout my adolescence. And I got this here because I want to remember every day. It's a good answer right there. I love it. Yeah. If, if all of a sudden $10, 10 million fell on your lap, let's say, let's say Sharptooth gets the craziest advance ever and everyone in the band gets $10 million. You've, you've uh -huh. taken care of your family. You've taken care of. Uh, friends, gear, all that stuff. Let's push that to the side. You've got 9.9 .9 million left, hypothetically. What is this a fun mm -hmm. toy or two you would buy? I would buy a Bronco from every single year they were in production, and I would have them all rebuilt. So you got like a 50-car garage. <laughs> yep. Awesome. That's, yep. That's the best answer I've ever heard from getting that yeah. oh. from that question. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, I love the new Broncos, and I'm – I really, I'm this close. I'm this close to getting one. I'm just, I'm this close to making it a thing. But yeah, I like, I'm a little gal. I like big trucks. Give I me them. I can dig it. Ryan, we'll say one or two more. It's... Awesome. So, um, you guys are the masters of covering Disturbed, which I don't know if everyone's seen the awesome sharp tooth uh, TikTok of uh, just a little ooh wah ah, ah. but uh, Marissa, can you give us a little ooh wah ah, ah here today? After <laughs> all that. <laughs> After all that. After all that. <laughs> Sorry for yelling, chat. I know that you guys didn't do anything. It's just Ryan. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I, I meant it. I can try. I just don't know if it'll be good. <laughs> Let's hear it. Let's see. Okay. I gotta hype myself up. Shut up. No, it sounded like shit. Yeah. I you still did it. That was cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. The new intro of the show. Hypothetically, you just played the biggest show of your career, 50,000 people. You're uh -huh. partying backstage, and it's time for the best munchy meal ever. What is your munchy meal? Oh, um, is can it be like, is this anywhere? Like, I can anywhere, anywhere, anything. For some reason, this festival has a chef that can prepare anything you want. And it says, he said, here you are, you asked for this. What is that meal? 
Oh my god, I want a vegan hamburger helper mac and cheese. Mm. Hell yeah, delicious. And hot dogs. So yeah. a vegan, so a vegan, vegan hot dog. Yes. Okay, okay, gotcha. But like six of them. <laughs> Hell yeah, splurging tonight, <laughs> baby. I need a splurging. Ah, oh, my that goodness. Was, that was... Is this still burning? Are my lips a little bit still. Yeah, but me too. But other than that, I'm. I'm pretty good. I, my belly is gonna hurt for sure. I got, I got the, I got the tummy hurting itis right now. It's where the Miller Lite comes in handy, yeah. right there. It's true. It's true. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, I should right. do the Miller Lite, huh? We got time for final for questions. Sure. Let's make it. A, mm-hmm. Let's make it some good ones right here. Awesome. Um, let's say that Sharp Tooth. You know, you, we got all these uh, hypotheticals going on. Let's say that Sharp Tooth can make a split EP with any band that you want, ever. Doesn't matter, you know, past, present, whatever. If you could pick any band to do a split EP with Sharp Tooth, who would you pick? Great answer. <laughs> I just think, because I'm like, there's a part of me that's like immediately like i know who i would want to but i know who would make sense kind of thing yeah uh mm. why don't you give I me one of each want to make a sweaty peel drop dead gorgeous because i think that would be fucking sick um the second one that i would think would make sense and also just be really cool is uh the band soul keeper i think that they are super super cool and i really really enjoy their music for some reason, Fair I've enough. been hearing a lot about Soul Keeper, and I, I want to say our buddy Sean of I the Breather, maybe I'm tripping, but I want to say he has something to do with something they have coming out soon. Maybe I'm yeah, not they're releasing to... a full length. With Sean from I the Breather? Or is that, am I not allowed to say what I just said? I don't remember. I don't know. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of a different band. I don't know. <laughs> I could be wrong. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Marissa, this is a this is a, a fun short one, and then a final serious question. What is okay. the best song Craig Owens ever wrote? Oh my god! Um... <laughs> <coughs> any of I his have... projects? Any of his projects? Any of his projects? Okay, I'm gonna say the word list by Cinematic Sunrise. Good answer. It's oh my god! That is one of my favorite songs of all time. The chorus hits, the ending hits so good. Like I am in a very happy, healthy, loving relationship with my partner and I hear that song and I just, I fall to pieces. I'm like, oh my God, I have also seen lovers dancing in windows. Oh my God. <laughs> like... And then and then my final question for you and we absolutely appreciate your time is a lot of local bands watch this show. If someone mm-hmm. is trying to get in the position that you're in, what advice would you give a local band? Maybe there was a mistake you made earlier on in your career that you don't want someone else to make or just mm-hmm. general advice that you've been given at some point in your career. So as somebody who went from being very active in a local scene to now primarily working in the music industry and touring um, pretty often, uh, working for bands, whatever, and also being in my own band, the best advice that I can give is that um, one, it's not always a competition. There's a competitive aspect, but it is not always a competition. Two, the clicks that you are hanging out in are going to be the ones that are going to tear you down. You need to just do your own thing. Keep your head down and do what makes you happy. Do not fall into the cool kid bullshit. Literally just do what makes you happy and what you want to do. And three, go out to shows, support your local scenes, and also just meet people on tour because a lot of the people that are in the touring industry, whether it's like a drivers uh merch people door people whatever are all in like bands like every single one of them swear to god all of them just go to shows support people and just get to know people and just be authentic that's probably the best advice that i could give also don't get involved in band drama in your local scene because it will follow you forever (laughs) it'll haunt you it'll follow you it will oh my god (laughs) marissa is a lot of fun i appreciate you joining uh, I'm glad I could stump you not once, not twice, but three times right three there times. on the Lost Boys trivia. We Lost really, Boys. yeah, we look forward. What you got? I'm Polish. Please forgive me. That's all I can say. We we look forward to the full length coming out hopefully in fall. 
and uh bless you for doing this you didn't have to but it's very very cool of you to do it if you if it's okay with you can i put this on youtube later tonight Absolutely. Tag you in a bunch of awesome stuff. Hell yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Marissa of Sharp Tag. Yeah, hell yeah. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you so much.